So good morning learner and welcome to today's lesson. As I promised you, in this lesson we are going to discuss about types of uh, 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 fertilizers, that is inorganic fertilizers. And uh, we are saying that uh, inorganic fertilizers are chemically uh, prepared. So we are saying that uh, the artificial manuals, number one, these are artificial Sure, Meaning that these are uh, man made and chemically made. They are chemical substances that are manufactured. They are, they are chemical substances. Substances that are manufactured. Manufactured in the industries. Manufacturing only the Industries. The supply nutrients to the soil, which are then absorbed by the plants, as we said. The importance of manures is to supply uh, nutrients into those soils that are, have, have, have lost their nutrients or they have lost fertility. So they either restore or improve. They restore and improve as such. So these manures are divided into two. They are divided into two. Divided into two, depending depending on the number of number of macronutrients, macro major nutrients they contain. I want to explain this learner that these artificial fertilizers are grouped into two major categories and these categories are arrived at by looking at what they contain as the macronutrients. Remember, as when we were beginning this uh, particular topic, I told you that there are those plants that require uh, nutrients in large quantities. So those nutrients that are required by plants in large quantities, we call them macronutrients or major nutrients. And then we say that those nutrients that are required by the plant in small quantities, and we call them the minor nutrients or uh, mi micro nutrients, minor or micro nutrients. So in this case, we are going to see that these fertilizers are going to be divided into according to the, num uh, the, 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 the number of macro nutrients that they contain. And so we get one class called straight, straight fertilizer. And number two, we have the compound. The compound, so those are called mixed fertilizers. I want to explain the two learner. Number one, the straight fertilizers. The straight fertilizers. Now, what do you mean by straight fertilizer learner? These are fertilizers that contain, these are, artificial fertilizers that contain contain one major I'm going to talk about macro one macronutrient they contain one macronutrient you can talk about CAN calcium ammonium Nitrate. A good example is calcium ammonium nitrate. It contains nitrogen as the major uh, nutrient. Number two, or oh, we have said that it contain only one macronutrient. Uh, the macronutrient may be the macronutrient. Macronutrient may be may be either of the following that is nitrogen may be nitrogen like in the case of calcium ammonium nitrate maybe phosphorus or can also be phosphate 
So the, macro, the macronutrient contained in this uh, statement less can be either nitrogen, it can be a, a, a phosphorus, or even phosphate. Now, the reason why we say that is because, um, so this is supposed to be potassium, phosphorus, or potassium. So these are the major macronutrients that are contained in the, the, the soil fertilizers. So from this, I will get three types of soil fertilizers. There are three. There are three types of soil fertilizers, depending on the on the macronutrient macronutrient contained contained in them so you will see again that special analysis are also categorized in three depending on the macronutrient that they contain I've said the macro macronutrients are nitrogen, phosphorus or potassium the three of them so there we get number one we get what we call nitrogenous fertilizers Nitrogenous fertilizers. We also get from the word phosphorus phosphatic phosphatic fertilizers. And lastly, we get the third uh, type of fertilizer, potassium. Potassium fertilizers. So the set fertilizers are grouped into three according to the macronutrients that uh, they contain. We have nitrogenous fertilizers, phosphatic fertilizers, and uh, potassium fertilizers. Meaning that it is a nitrogenous fertilizer like a CAN, it contains nitrogen as the major nutrient. If it's a phosphatic fertilizer, like you are going to see, you will find that it's going to contain phosphorus as a major nutrient. And it is potassium, potassium fertilizer is going to contain potassium as a macro nutrient. So then I wanted to introduce this lesson today. So that uh, when we are coming in our next lesson, Lana, we are going now to see the three major uh, groups of state fertilizers. And we are see, going to see the examples in each of the uh, classes. We are going to see examples of nitrogenous fertilizers. I've given you an example, CAN. We are going to see urea, ETC. We are also going to see about phosphatic fertilizers, where we are going to talk about the double, single, and triple phosphates. And then about plastic fertilizers, we are going to talk about sulfate of ammonia and the rest. So I want us to end this lesson at that point, having introduced uh, what we call the straight fertilizers. In our next lesson, Lana, we are going to finish what we call the straight fertilizers, give examples, and probably begin compound fertilizers and see what they are. So until next time, Lana, I want to wish you well back at home. I know it's a very uh, brief lesson. We are only introducing today so that next time we continue to do much in this particular lesson. So until next time, Lana, I want to wish you well. Have a very wonderful day. Stay home, stay safe. Continue revising and revise so hard. If you find anything to do, do it so well. God bless you.